Everyone, hope everything's going well. Card Collector 2 seems to be getting the hits. Does he get the hits all the time? No. But the irony of him pulling two Caitlin Clark autographs before the Final Four started, and she played today in the championship game against South Carolina and lost, what's the odds of him pulling two Caitlin Clark autographs? One's a masterpiece autograph here. I know it's a little blurry. Out of 10, you look at it on the checklist. Okay, red geometric refractor out of 10, Breakers Delights. It's not that hard but to get it, but Caitlin Clark, a $1,000 card. That seems weird. Absolutely weird to me that he would get it on video. There's also another Caitlin Clark autograph out of 50. It's a refractor card. And, you know, we could go through this over here and figure out, hey, look, like gold base card, gold. Ref no, that's soccer. Sorry. Gold refractor out of 50. Is that the best of one out of 12? The odds aren't that much, but I want to remind you. This is Caitlin Clark. This is not some random woman in college basketball. I find that to be weird. Last thing is like, in terms of influencers, I, I still don't know how Mama Breaks gets the hits. And it's a little more cocky now. Some people say she's confident. She got a Ronaldo card. Okay. These influencers getting these hits. Well, they'll be like, oh, well, they're breakers. They open a lot. But it's the top players. Okay? My personal opinion is they're distributing these equally to some of the breakers. Some may get a little more than others. I've noticed someone like Mama Breaks gets the hits. Just from my observation. And I believe they're using her for marketing. A lot of people won't touch it because guess what? They're going to be canceled the minute they talk about this. And they're just going to say that I'm nuts. But it's Ronaldo. Okay. And you could go through the checklist over here. But it's what an orange base refractor or orange refractor. Just go through all of these over here. So hobby pack odds, what, one out of 200? All right, oh, excuse me, one out of 400. Hobby box odds, one out of 34. But what, what's the chance of getting a top-notch player? This is where... We need to figure out what Deloitte and Touche is doing or Deloitte is doing in terms of these audits. And in the scope of the audit, are they going to be looking at someone like Card Collector 2 opening product on his videos? Right now, I don't think they would. But who knows? He claims that he got this on the secondary market. So he's basically saying no influencer boxes, but you have to ask the question, did he sign an NDA? How many of these people have signed NDAs? A lot of people in the industry have signed NDAs. I know a lot of people don't want to talk about this, but that's just the reality. You have the biggest hyped college basketball player in our lifetime, and this dude... He may call me a tinfoil hatter. Pulls two of her autographs right before the final four. Is this a marketing ploy? What's going on here? Or it just happens to be a coincidence. It could be a coincidence, but I've seen so many coincidences that I don't believe this stuff anymore. But 
I could be wrong. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye.